this is how you draw a draping. And I chose a dress which is very, very complicated and very, very draped to dive in full steam with. So first you want to get your outer silhouette dealt with. Think about your, what your shape is going to be. And then always when you're doing something draped, you have kind of like, it kind of is almost like bubbles and squiggles at the outer silhouette of the garment, which you can establish before you even make your lines. And then you carry your lines down, carry your lines down. You kind of want to be fluid because draping is fluid. Then this dress that I'm drawing here in particular drapes from the hip. It's a corseted wrap dress. I just carry my lines directionally because you want to do it in the direction in which the, you want the draping to happen. And on this particular dress, the draping comes from both directions. It's coming from underneath and it's coming from the overlay of it, which is the upper layer. So first, let me finish out this upper layer. And see what I mean? When you have draping happening, you're gonna have a squiggly line on the outside of your garment where the draping ends. And every time that you have a little squiggle, you wanna just carry that up, carry that up. It's kind of the same thing as pleats or folds. Now I'm just gonna finish up by creating the bottom of my gown. And it's the same thing, follow up, follow up, diagonally. Just be fluid with your lines. Whatever, worry about the shoes later. We're only worrying about draping right now. Those aren't the best shoes I've ever drawn, but what are you gonna do? All right. And that's pretty much it. That's how you draw draping. This particular gown I've already created, and this would be a photo of the finished product.